we, we needed an opportunity to unpack, as you have done over the last year and a half, at figuring out what, what happened, to unpack what exactly went on. And so, and, and try to make some some logical conclusions here. You know, it's I know people at Baylor. I've known I've, I played against Baylor. I played against Art Bryles. Um, I have known people who went to school there, uh, players and people who worked in the athletic department. To a man, every last one of them think he was railroaded. There's something to that. So when you get that, you say, okay, let's look a little further. Is anybody else suffering these same consequences that Art Bryles is? No one. Not a single person who is involved. And so you have Ken Starr, who was the president and, and chancellor. They said, well, you can't be president anymore, but you can stick around as chancellor. They never fired him for that. By the way, he's doing just fine. He was representing President Trump in his first impeachment trials. You know, you go on, uh, Ian McCall was the AD there. They never fired him. He's the AD now at Liberty University, a Christian university. You know, Kendall Bryles, as I just pointed out, it's not been good with his last name, but he's still here. He's still, he's the OC at Arkansas. The defensive coordinator is at North Texas now. He, the only person that they've deemed untouchable, including the people above him in the hierarchy, the athletic uh, director, chancellor, president, they all have jobs and they're fine. And so you look and say, well, let's look a little deeper then. And why was he blamed in the first place? And, and we don't really have time to unpack this today. But at some point, Jason, you and I should have a serious discussion about the role of a football coach in legal allegations and what their expectations are. Because what the, the issue that I see is the expectation of the discipline that is handed down to players who were only accused of crime and were not proven guilty of a crime. And that's what the basis of this entire thing is. And so the, we, we're living in this world where the official stance of college athletics is believe all women. It is idiotic, illogical, it makes no sense. Innocent until proven guilty is the smart, logical stance. Provide evidence for your accusation is the smart, logical expectation. So by the way, that's the official stance of the United States of America. We've done pretty well with that. Bye.